First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them, as prevail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. First and foremost, only give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for Hashem, Rakakodash. It's double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God's people here for a bit. It's not going to get better here. Contrary to the popular belief, it's only going to get worse here. You Israelites really think it's going to get better, than, better here, man? What is the Bible saying? That's what, that's, well, that's the standard. That's what we revert back to. When, it, when everybody's speaking that nonsense, when the whole world is saying this, that, and the third, what, 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 what do we revert back to? Scriptures, man. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace is safe, isn't it what everybody's saying? Your government leaders, your president, community tie leaders, church pastors, co workers, managers on these jobs, the owners of these different businesses, you know, take this, take that, you know. Comply, comply, comply. Everything's going to be back normal. It's not, man. Stop falling for the lie. See, this, this is a time when you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should be trying to discern who's teaching the truth and who's teaching lies. You see? You should be searching for the truth right about neck of the scriptures. Tell us that's what's going to um, set us free. The truth? It's not going to get better here, man. For when they shall say peace and safety, there's sudden destruction. Oh, yeah, man, it's going to get better. We're going, we're going to make America great again, right? Lord, that when you start hearing all that gibberish, that babble, ain't nothing but babble, vain babbling, you know? The Lord said, this sudden destruction is going to come upon you. You ninjas. You ninjas. The Lord said, then, and only then, is sudden destruction going to come upon you. Look, the scriptures tell us, even only evil behold has come, man. You know? The Israelites that, are, that went out there and stood in that long ass line, believing that somebody is lying to you, telling you that everything's going to be alright. What the scripture say? This sudden distress should come upon them. As to veil upon a woman or child, and they shall not escape. You're not going to escape the wrath of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Trusting in this devil? You, you really trusted in this devil. You, you Nick Rose Latins and Native Americans. You need a, You need to be hit with a missile. You need to be hit with a missile, man. Trainer, you're supposed to be most definitely praying to your how about Shema trying to give you the spirit of discernment to be able to see who's telling the truth and who's not, man. But are you doing that? No. You like the scripture saying, you can tell when it's gonna be sunny, you can tell when it's gonna rain, you can tell when winter times come. But you can't discern the times that we're living in. This devil gonna take your head off, man. Straight up. As a matter of fact, I keep quoting now. Let's get it right quick. It's a lot here. Trying to get a quick lesson in outside. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful evening, Reverend. Let's get this right quick. Malachi chapter 3. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Lord going to destroy the majority of our people. This um, Malachi. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so it's all about fearing the Lord. It's all about fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, look, it's really getting ready to go down. You can't stop it. Hey, look, look, grace for impact. One thing you can do is try to get your mind right. That's the only thing you can do right about now is get your mind right. You know? Hey, look, you can't stop the inevitable, right? Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai spoke often one to another. And the Lord hearkened, the Lord heard him. And heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that thought upon his name. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're thinking upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So now the Lord has brought us back and stirred up our pure minds by way of remembrance, you know? Of who to believe and who not to believe. 
The Lord said, remain firm, remain strong, remain courage, but uh, remain full of courage when everything is coming down the pipeline, man. You know, stand strong, man. 17, and they shall be mine. Look, look, you know we're going to call on that name, right? We're calling on that name now. Yahweh Abashim Yahushai, right? The Lord said he gave us a book of remembrance. What's that book of remembrance? The Bible. And the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning that we, the whole full act, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. But we got to read on, though. And they shall be mine, save the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. In that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son, that serveth him. Aren't we servants of Yahweh by Shemel with Shai? And Lord willing, we'll be spared. Lord willing, we'll, we'll receive mercy in that day, right? Because we're going to show no need. Look, look. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth not. See, Yahweh by Shemel Shai has given us a spirit of discernment. You know? We can discern who's, who's telling the truth. See, actions speak louder than words, right? We can discern who's following Yahweh by Shemel Shai, who's following, who's not following them, man. Huh? You see? What does it say? Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. And it ain't, it ain't hard. It ain't hard to discern. You know? You can discern when it's going to be hot outside when you see that sun, right? You can you can discern when when it's gonna rain because you look up in the sky and you see the clouds right. So you mean you, you can't discern them saying who's who's serving you? How about Shemel Shai? Who ain't? Come on now, you see, actions speak louder than words, man. It says, um, then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High Yahweh by Shemel Shai and him that serveth him not and, and everybody making it plain. Everybody's pretty much making it plain who they serve. So you have but you know shots like us. Since you serving the wicked, you sure enough ain't discern you sure enough ain't serving me. You know. Our people can't discern no saying hot from cold anyway. You know, us people can't discern night from day. But you gonna wish you did though. This is Sirach chapter five. Sirach chapter five or seven. This is a quick look here before I get too dark about the you know what I'm saying? The sun and um, went down. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's getting ready to get dark. You want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh, but you know, Shai. Just proving according to the Bible that it ain't going to get no better. Sirach so chapter 5, verse, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. The word tarrying means to wait. Don't wait, man. We're not living in a time of waiting when it comes to serving Yahweh, but you know, Shai, right? And look, and put putting that off from day to day. Cause that's what our people do. Our people are um, a bunch of procrastinators, man. You see? You ain't gonna be able to take your time when it comes to serving the Lord. Either get in or get out, man. You know? Get in and stay in. Or, or get on somewhere. Cause like it says, um, in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember thy trade in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Nor the years draw not. When, when the Most High shall say, I have no pleasure in you. So late, our people are gonna try to come searching for the Lord. The Lord, like man, it's too late now, man. Just like in, just like when Noah was building the ark, too late came eventually, man. Too late came. Too late to do what? Too late to get up into that ark. It came eventually, right? It says, and and putting that off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And what's the wrath of the Lord? Martial law, concentration camps, that famine, race wars, class wars, civil wars. You know. The missiles, you know, the M R, the M A R K to the beast, you know, being made mandatory, and the Lord not even um, putting the thought in your head to not take it, you know, so you so now you leaning into your own understanding why? But you took your time trying to search for the Lord. The Lord said, "In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance," because this was coming. This was coming, destruction, vengeance, all hell breaking loose. But, some, but somebody out there lying to you, telling that, telling you that everything going to be all good. The Lord telling you one thing, somebody else telling you something else. Well, we, we're trusting in the Lord, man. We're trusting in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Jeremiah was telling our people that destruction was coming. 
that the king of Babylon was getting ready to take over. They didn't believe that. See, sin is believing for the majority of our people. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25, destruction cometh. Just a quick little lesson. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and guess what? And there shall be none. You know, peace, man. We're not living in peaceful times, right? Our people are still trying to let the good times roll. Them days gone, man. All right? How many times do the Lord got to tell us to tell you that this place is circling the drain, man? What is it? Um, C, C, T, D, circling the drain? Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, to everything there's a season. And a time to every purpose under the heavens. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yes, yeah, so it's a time to love. You know, it's a time of peace. But now we're living in a time of hate. And we're more definitely living in a time of war. And you can't run from it. You can't go hide from it. You can't go hide up on a rock. Well, you can, but it ain't going to happen. You know, it's not going to happen. The love of many waxed and cold, your family members ain't going to give a damn about you. Just, just know that. Just know that. You're going to take a heed to what the Lord is saying, but oh yeah, you know, you're going to go to your family members. They're going to look out for you, right? Come on, man. This place is true, boy. I don't know what the hell you and Bay's women going to do in that day. The ones that ain't taking heed. <laughs> it's all fun of the sun. Uh, what did it say? Um, I forgot that term they call. When they having all that fun in the sun. Some summer. Somebody can put it in the comment board. When they just be having sex with all kind of dudes throughout the whole summer. You know, not not caring about nothing. You know, how your hot girl summer. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. What for he saying? Awake thou that sleepest. And arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall, shall give thee light. Which is the light? The knowledge. Wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Our people are considered dead when they don't have it. The Lord is like, wake the hell up. Wrath is coming. Destruction is coming. Misery is coming. Wake the hell up. See then that you are circumspectly. Not as fools supposed to be looking around. Like your head pretty much is on a swivel. You know what I'm saying? The word circumspect means to look. So we'll be constantly looking. Constantly watching what the hell is going on. You're supposed to be seeing what, which legislation they passing, which new laws, which decrees they passing, unrighteous decrees they're passing. Our people don't know what the hell going on. Look, monkey see pretty much monkey do. They see one monkey, you know what I'm saying, do something. You know what I'm saying? The next monkey just do something. Once again, monkey see, monkey do. That's all you see. There's a bunch of monkey sees, monkey do's, yo. Everybody falling out of wickedness, man. And so all hell break loose. When they start, you know what I'm saying, holding their damn chest and shit. Not being able to damn breathe, you know what I'm saying, just fall to the damn ground. Then they're going to start calling on the Lord. Lord, help me, Lord, help me. Well, he was trying to help you. We well, sent forth his men to teach you the word, man. You see? It says, see then, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. We're living in some deadly serious times, man. We're living in some deadly serious times. Jake getting shot up left and right. Some dude, um, some dude down here, like a couple of blocks away, he got like shot like seven times. A complete number of times. You know the, the number seven means completion. Jake's still trying to hang out at the drug dealer spots and all this nonsense, man. The hell with all that. Seek the Lord, man. See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wives, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're living in some deadly serious times. We're living in some bad times, man. You see? He says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And the will of the Lord is to, to straight up terrorize this place and then ultimately destroy it. And then, like I said before, this ain't a quick, this ain't a, um, a long lesson. It's something quick, right quick. Through the spirit of how bust me up shot, we gotta constantly we watch me, right? We gotta constantly bring out these scriptures. Sound like a broken record all you want to, it don't matter. Bring the scriptures out. Second Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Remember they keep saying peace and safety is coming, love is coming, but the Lord said misery is coming upon these people. You know? Straight up misery, man. You can look up the definition for the word misery. It says, well, for Google, 
And, and see if it has anything to do with dancing and partying and singing and all that. No. You're going to see that it's the opposite, man. Once again, Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be miseries, man. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride and the majority of our people have neglected words of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. So the Lord got something for you, right? Let's see. Ecclesiastes, Sirach, also um, known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 40, verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamity, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. Now, you don't want to take heed to the words of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. Then the Lord got something for you there, man. You see? And I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it on up. I know that Hosea um, 4 and 6 is sticking out like a sore thumb right about now. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. You reject the knowledge, the Lord's going to reject you. You and your pastor's going to be rejected. Now, wh now watch what these false pastors and these false prophets do when all hell break loose. They're going to get low. They're going to get low. Let's get this. Or do I want to go to, to the 16th chapter? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 16. Jeremiah chapter 16. Let's see. 3. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place. So this happened thousands of years ago, no saying, when Jeremiah was prophesying to our people. Right before they went into captivity up under the Babylonians, right? It says, um, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, Remember, the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing new up under the sun. What happened back then is going to happen now because this is modern day Babylon, right? For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, concerning the sons and concerning the daughters, Israelites, Nicaragua's Latin, and Native Americans, that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. Remember, great misery is going to come upon the children of Israel. The Lord said they're going to die of grievous deaths in this land, man. You know? But this is modern day Babylon. You know what I'm saying? It was talking about ancient Babylon, but there's nothing new up under the sun, man. Once again, what is it, uh, Romans, the 15th chapter? Um, whatsoever things were written, a fourth time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, this, so you can apply this to now. They shall die of grievous deaths, man. They're going to be getting ate by different animals. They're going to be getting lynched, put on fire. I read earlier on death, bloodshed, strife, sword, calamities, the scourge, famine. All of these were created for the wicked and for their sakes came to flood. Because two-thirds of our people, they're pretty much wicked right about now. You know? We've got to read on. It says, uh, look, look, look. They shall not be lamented. Nobody ain't going to mourn for them. When our people start catching their business from your hour by Shemel Shai, the Lord said, no one's going to mourn for them because the word lament means to mourn. Pretty much to cry, right? It says, um, neither shall they be buried. No, because all hell going to be bringing. You ain't going to have time to bury nobody, man. You ain't going to have time to bury your loved ones in that day, man. So much going to be going on. So much chaos. So much destruction. But look, remember, they told you peace was coming. It says, um, but they shall be as dung doo-doo upon the face of the earth. Look, and they shall be consumed by the sword. Destruction. But look, and by famine, a lack of bread. And their carcasses, their bodies, right, shall be meat for the fowls of heaven, man. All right? And these birds are going to start eating on our people, man. And for the beasts of the earth. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Let's see. Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. Don't cry for them. Remember, going right back to, um, what is that? That's Jeremiah 2. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, that's Jeremiah 11 and 11. And then Jeremiah um, 14 and 11. Don't lift up a cry for two-thirds. Family members included. included. You, know what I'm saying? you go out there and get Maxine, Ma Maxine watered up. You know what I'm saying? That, that's going to be on you, man. You go out there and kiss Vanessa Williams. You know what I'm saying? You want to. That's going to be on you, man. All right? The Lord said, don't cry for him. You see? You know? Don't be having no um, 
uh, gathering at your house, you know what I'm saying, morning, one of your favorite cousins, you know what I'm saying, that didn't take heed, or morning, one of your favorite aunts or uncles that didn't take heed, they followed out the sleazy eat, they followed out the serpent, you know what I'm saying, don't bemoan them, right? It says, um, it's getting kind of dark, and uh, let's see, let's see, five, Jeremiah 16, 5, for thus saith the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, because we're in the house of mourning now. When all hell start breaking loose and our people start catching the business, we're not going to mourn for them. We're not going to enter into the house of mourning for them. No, we're mourning them. Set a mark up on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. It says, um, neither go to lament nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people. See, but look, though, your enemy is telling you peace is coming. The Lord said, I'm taking away my peace from these people, right? It says, um, saith the Lord, even loving kindness and mercy, both the great and the small shall die in this land. Whether you're known in society, whether you're a superstar, a rapper, you know what I'm saying, what have you, both small and great, man, whether you got a high position in this land, you know what I'm saying, or low position in this land. You follow out the sleazy E, you know, you're not hearkening to the words of prophecy. You're not hearkening to the men of your how about Shemel Shai. So when all hell break loose, nobody ain't mourning for you for real, for real, yeah. It says, um, both small and great, it's like it, both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. Because that's what we used to do. They'll say, throw ashes upon our head, cut our hair. They'll say, cut our beards. They'll say, you know, put ashes on our head and, and, and moan. That's what, that's what it was mourning, right? It says, um, Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to cover them for the dead. Neither shall men give up the cup of condolences, no, consolation, to drink for their father or for their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting. To sit with them to eat and drink. For thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Arashah, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause the cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of America. The Lord will take that party spirit from Jacob. That's the only thing Jacob thinking about is partying, a good time. All hell break loose. The only thing that our people still think about is partying, man. You see, getting crunk, turning up. You know what I'm saying? Being seen, right? It says, um, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. You know? Man, I know, the, the Lord going to bring our people very low for real, for real. The Lord's going to destroy our people, man. Look, look, look. You, you didn't want to take heed. The scriptures say, um, greater evils than those which thou seest. It shall be greater, man. Matter of fact, I ended on that. I ended on that. This was just quick hit anyway. It ain't nothing long. Oh, yeah, hot girl summer. The Lord said, no, so all that mirth and all that having fun, the Lord about to take that out of this place, man. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16, For yet greater evils, meaning bad times, than those which thou hast seen happen, shall be done there here. After man, the Lord said, "Gonna have the fowls of heaven eating on our people." Man, go you, you go to um, Jeremiah the fifteenth chapter. It tell you that the beasts of the field gonna be getting in our people, ferocious animals gonna be getting in our people. The sword, famine. You no, know, our people get ready to get thrown in the concentration camp. Remember the concentration camp? Look, the lights are on. They're running. You know what I'm saying? They they've been hired people to work in those things a couple of years back. You know what I'm saying? You, you could go online years ago, you know what I'm saying, and um, sign an application, you know what I'm saying, and, and work at those concentration camps. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, what is, um, they're fully operational right about now. And that's where you're going to go, you know what I'm saying, for not taking heed to the words of prophecy. But that's pretty much all I got. It ain't going to be the dead horse. Look, remember, you thought peace was coming. This is the end results of you thinking peace is coming when the scriptures keep telling you destruction is coming. With that, Lord, will it be elected, edified? Shalom.